Like our Effects Send 2, which sent to our internal effects right here, Effects Send 1 will send varying amounts of all of these channels out of this jack right here. And then what I've done is taken this cable and the other end of it is right here. If we plug this into, I have an old MIDI verb here, we plug that into here, then when I play, you can see that we're starting to get level right here. So this is one half of an effects loop. Basically we've set this up as an effects send into this, but that's really of no use until we return the output of this back into the mixer. To complete that effects loop, I've brought in returns here, and that's what these cables are here, as long as I plug that into the outputs. So basically I have the send going in to the effect, and then the output of the effect going back and returning into here. And then if I press play, I should be able to You can see it coming up here. So you can see that's what an effects, external effects looks like. There's a send from the console that goes in to the effect and then the output of the effect comes back in. Now a lot of mixes will have specialized effects uh, effect returns like this one. If you don't have effect return, you can actually bring it into any one of those inputs. But a word of warning is, if you bring it back into one of these inputs, don't then send that out here because then you'll have feedback. Another method of patching in effects, particularly if they are dynamic effects like compressors and gates and things like that, is to use inserts. Now in this case, we have an insert in all of these channels right here. And if we were to plug a tip ring sleeve, this is a special cable that um, is, is called an insert cable. It basically has a tip ring sleeve on one end and two tip sleeves on the other end. And here's what it does. As soon as I plug right in there, what it does is breaks into this channel. And then whatever we place in between these two cables will be inserted in line with that. So in this case, we have a compressor and I've labeled what this is all about. The red goes into the uh, output and the gray goes into the input. And then so what that has actually done is just broken this and put it right in line. It'd be just like if we kind of put it right in line that, that way. So the insert cable, if you have nothing plugged it, uh, into these other ends, it'll actually break. Um, in fact, let me play that. Here's the kick and snare. Plug into the insert. The kick goes away, right? But then we plug that input into uh, right here. The output right here. And now that kick drum is being compressed. If we pull it out, it's not connected. Put it back in and it breaks into this channel and places this inserted within that channel.